In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how the system takes a single idea from our Airtable base and automatically generates a brand new video in that popular, relaxing ASMR style. And make sure you stick around because later in this tutorial, I'll show you two incredible examples that were created entirely by this automation. All right, to get you up and running as fast as possible, I'm giving you both the N8N automation and the Airtable template. If you are a member of our free community, you can head over to the classroom section right now to find the download links. If you are a member of our paid premium community, you will also find those exact same files in your classroom section. Remember, as a premium member, you also get dedicated support to help you customize this setup. So, regardless of which community you're in, go to the classroom, download the workflow, and copy the Airtable base. You'll have the entire system ready to go in just a few clicks. I've made this entire automation system available for you to use right now. To get started, go to the description below this video. There, you will find the links to join both our free and our premium automation tribe communities. Choose the option that's right for you, and once you're inside, you can immediately download the N8N workflow and get the link to copy the Airtable base from our classroom section. The entire automation is built using a powerful tool called N8N, which acts as the central brain, connecting all the different services together. The heart of the operation is our Airtable base. This is where we plan everything. The best part about using Airtable is its flexibility. You can feed it any type of video idea you can think of for any niche. All right, let's start building our content command center. The very first step is to create a new base in Airtable. Inside this base, we need to set up the columns that will define our video ideas. We'll create columns for item, status, growth type, structure detail, visual style, lightning style, style, audio suggestion, and final video. For most of these, you can set the field type to long text. However, there are two special ones. For the final video column, set the type to attachment. This is where you'll drop the finished video file later. Most importantly, for the status column, choose the single select type. We'll create two options here, done and to do. Now for the crucial part, set the default value to to do. This simple trick means that every time you add a new row for a new video idea, its status will automatically be set to to do keeping your workflow perfectly organized from the start. And remember, you can use AI like ChatGPT or Google Gemini to generate fantastic ideas to fill all these columns, giving you an endless stream of content to produce. All right, with our Airtable base ready and the workflow downloaded, let's open up N8N and walk through exactly how this automation works, node by node. First up is the schedule trigger. This is the starting gun for our automation. You can set this to run however often you like once a day, once a week, it's completely up to you. Next, we have a set node. Think of this as our secure vault for secret keys. Here, we'll add the API keys for the two main services we're using, file.ai for video generation and upload post for scheduling to social media. For upload post, you'll need your API key, which you can find by clicking on the API keys button in your account. You'll also need your username. To find it, just click on manage users. And you'll see it right there. Mine is Automation Tribe. Now we get to our first Airtable node. This is a Search Records node. Make sure you've selected the correct base and table that we set up earlier. We'll use a specific formula in the Filter by Formula field, which you can copy directly from the classroom. Most importantly, we set the limit to one. We do this because we want the automation to process only one video idea each time it runs keeping the workflow clean and focused. With our idea selected from Airtable, we move to the AI brain of the operation, the open AI node. It's very simple. We feed it a system prompt to set the context and a user prompt, which contains the idea from our Airtable. You can use any model you want. In my case, I'm using the efficient GPT-40 Mini. Now for the magic. We use an HTTP request node to connect to fal.ai. 
Specifically, we're using their VEO3 fast video generation model because it's significantly cheaper and still produces amazing results. These are the settings I use, but feel free to change the aspect ratio or any other parameter to fit your needs. Video generation takes time. So our next node is a simple but crucial wait node. I've noticed an eight second video takes about three minutes to generate. To prevent the workflow from failing, I've set a conservative wait time of five minutes. This ensures the video is always ready for the next step. Once the wait is over, we use another HTTP request. This one calls a specific URL and attaches the unique ID from our video generation request. The purpose of this node is to fetch the URL of our finished video. With the video URL in hand, we go back to Airtable one last time. We use an update record node to upload that new video URL into our final video column. Critically, we also update the item status field to done. This keeps our base organized and prevents the automation from picking up the same idea again. Our final steps are all about posting. The next HTTP request node takes the video URL from file.ai and converts the video into a binary file. We need the actual file data, not just a link, to upload it to social networks. For this, we're using an incredible service called Upload Post, which I highly recommend. You can find a link to it in the description. From this node, you'll see the workflow branches out. These are the different nodes for posting to each social network. The setup is basically the same for all of them, so I'll show you one as an example. All you have to do is copy the same simple settings across each one. And there you have it, a complete automated content system from start to finish. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you like the automation we built today, please do me a huge favor and give this video a like. It really helps the channel grow. And now for the moment we've been waiting for. Let me show you what the final result looks like. Thank you for watching.